Hi everybody, it's your girl Amira Raquel and I'm here to do a reading for It's Hot. My Gemini Libra and Aquarius from August 18, 2018 to September 1st. You haven't seen me in a while because I've moved, a lot of things have been going on. But uh, I'm really trying to get in readings. I'm not going to be doing individual signs right now because I don't have the time to, only because I'm still in transition. So I'm going to be doing collective um, energies for... Um, each element of the zodiac signs but this is for gemini libra aquarius my air signs from august 18th to september 1st thank you for your likes thank you for your shares thank you for your subscribers i wanted y'all to know i forget y'all thank y'all seriously thank y'all very much um Mommy, I don't know who shh, thank you excuse my son so if you want to reach me uh, for reading, Amira, A-M-I-Y-R-A-D-U-R-A-N-T at gmail.com. Um, I'm doing $10 readings from now until the end of August. Um, I also have a Facebook channel, um, which is Amira, A-M-I-Y-R-A, Serenity, S-E-R-E-N-I-T-Y, which I haven't been able to post um, up until recently um, because, like I said, I've been moving. But um, you can book readings for me or you can email me for reading at $10 from now until the end of August. And um, I can send it to you via video. Um, you can cash at me at dollar sign, Amira, A-M-I-Y-R, A, any donations. But let's get started, guys. So, for the general energy that I have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, two cards fill out. The nine of air, which lets me know that a lot of you um, have probably come from a, a breakup. A lot of you guys have been feeling alone. A lot of you guys haven't had any sleep. A lot of you guys have had a lot of anxiety. But you're coming to a stage now where you're more accepting. You don't like it. You don't like whatever it is that you've been going through for the last couple of weeks. But you're coming to a phase where you're like, okay, this is what I have to go through. It's probably going to be me standing on my own. Me doing some things by myself. And you're scared. Okay, the thing is you're scared. And you're scared because what also fell out for the energy right now is a dreamer. A new beginning. A lot of you guys are taking a leap of faith. And you have decided to end something with someone. Okay. Um, it can be any sign, any person. You have decided to end something and you're looking in a new direction. And a lot of you are scared because you're taking a risk. You don't possibly know where it's going to take you. But what you do know is that apparently you've been having anxiety and you haven't been happy. And the direction that you're going in has to be better than where you just were. Okay? So that's the energy for my air signs from now until the end of August. Um, then I ask, what do you guys need to know? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, what do you guys need to know? The sun fell out first. Okay, so you guys have been enlightened about something. The sun card says, happy outcome, brilliant ideas that lead to success, have self-confidence. So as I mentioned, a lot of you have been afraid, but a lot of you guys are going out of the 8 into the 9 energy where you're ready to stand up for yourself, and you're going towards the 10. The 10 means you're at the end of the stage where you're afraid. Um, you haven't gotten that yet. You have the nine, but you're on your way there. And you're actually looking at the future. You're looking at the bigger picture. And you're like, listen, it's now or never. Okay, I have to do this because I've tried it one way and it hasn't been working. And so you guys are um, being illuminated. And you guys, as long as you continue to face your fears. I remember, I think it was like back in um, June or July, I was saying a lot of us Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, we're taking our blinders off and we're going to see clearly. This is the time where we're actually seeing clearly, and this is the time where we're taking those steps toward the sun. The sun for all of us can be different. It's whatever you're trying to accomplish, but you're ready to stand your ground, and you're headed towards the sun, clarity, illumination, into the light out of the darkness. Another card you got was the six of earth, okay? So a lot of you guys have um, decided to possibly leave an a earth sign and if, if it's not an earth sign a lot of you guys have decided to leave situations where there hasn't been any balance there hasn't been any give and take this is the sixth of earth the sixth also represents the the household so there have been a lot of changes in the household of gemini libras and aquarius things have changed you realize that the things that were going on in your household before did not serve you there wasn't equal give and take and now you want to be in a position where you're investing in yourself in the same way that you have invested in others. And if others aren't investing in you, you're going to invest in yourself. Either way, you're focused on you, your home life, and your foundation. Now, the thing about this is that it's also a pencil group, a pencil group card. Remember, pencil group cards represent stability and it represents um, stable steps to get where you're going, but it's not fast. It happens slowly. It's strategic. So just keep in mind, my Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is that whatever you're doing is going to be strategic. 
but it's going to be worth it because that is what's going to lead you to the sun. Okay, so you're planning, you're investing, you're focusing on your home life, you're saving for your future. You may be um, moving into a job where you feel like it makes more money, but whatever you're doing, you're taking steps. You're at the beginning, but you're seeing the bigger picture finally. Okay, so that's the current energy. Okay, then I asked for the outcome for my Gemini, Libras, and Aquariuses, and for the outcome, what fell out first was the nine of fire. So you have two nines. So a lot of you have definitely decided to break up with somebody. And if it's not a romantic relationship, a lot of you guys have just decided to leave a certain situation. Or you could have decided to leave a job. Or you could have even decided to move home. Because wands represent movements. You've decided to move in a new direction. And the direction that you're going in doesn't necessarily require you asking for anybody's help. The direction that you're going in is what you feel like is going to be best for you. You're in the enemy's necessary type of mode, which means that you're doing what you feel like you have to do no matter what. You're standing up for what you believe in. You're being courageous. You're not moving in fear. You're past that anxiety. Okay, you move out of the eight, which is manifestation, but now you're moving into the action and you're moving into the doing you. Okay, but a lot of you guys are having courage. You have your wands up and you're ready. Okay. You are ready to do what you need to accomplish. And this card says don't give up and believe in yourself. Because as I mentioned, you also had the pentacles where you're investing. But it's the beginning stage. It's going to take time. Just don't give up. Okay? Because you're moving in the right direction. My Gemini, Libras, and Aquarius. Then you had the five of Earth. So like I said, a lot of you or some of you can be having conflict with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If this is not an earth sign that you're having conflict with, a lot of you guys maybe um, have been having issues with the money. Um, a lot of you have felt like you have been left in the cold. A lot of you guys feel like have, you have been deserted and you've been abandoned. And if it's not that, a lot of you just uh, feel like you are in a lack and you have a lack of money. Um, you've been having financial issues and you're in a stage where you're trying to get that in order. You're in a stage where you, don't, you no longer want to be in the cold. You no longer want to be in conflict. The good thing is the number five, people don't say that much, but it also represents change. So the conflict that you have encountered has um, led you to the change that you're making now. But it's also another pentacle card, which means that it's going to be steady progress. It's going to take steps. You had the six of pentacles loose and the five of pentacles, which equals 11. 11 is not um, a card as in a number card. But um, 11 is an angel number, which represents new beginnings. It represents duplicity. It represents soul connections, divine interactions, divine movement, things that are supposed to happen. Things that are happening in, in the way and the manner that it's supposed to happen. And if you want to look at the 10, after a 10 and, and a deck of cards comes an ace. Okay, so you are in a new beginning financial-wise. You're building a new um, foundation for you, your family, or just for yourself. Okay. All right, so the cold that you're feeling out, you're going to come out of that. You're at the beginning of it, though. Keep that in mind, but you have to have courage, like that Nine of Wands said, okay? And then finally, and I just mentioned the number two, that Angel 11 number, on verse one is two. You guys are finally using your intuition. Now, what a lot of guys don't know about the High Priestess is the High Priestess is using your intuition, but she uses her intuition because she's learned from her past mistakes. She's been through a lot of things, and because of the things that she's been through, she's learned to become wise. She's become wise because of her experiences. So a lot of my Gemini, Libras, and Aquariuses are finally using their experiences and learning from the past to move forward, okay? So you guys are finally moving in the right direction, and as you continue to go forward, it says, listen to your intuition, have patience. And consider what you want before you're acting. I told you about those pentacle cards. This is not a time to rush and to act out of emotions. This is a time to plan. Have patience. Use your intuition and plan. Because you are headed toward the sun. Just think carefully, methodically, and maturely. Okay, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Thank you for spending time with me. See you soon.